Hello, oh, and I am finally here to finish my video on Nintendo handhelds. Finally, I can finish this. I've wanted to do the Game Boy one for a long time. I just haven't had it with me. My whole vacation in Indiana, I could not have it because I forgot it here. So, now that I have it, I can finally complete my series on Nintendo handhelds. So, it takes four AA batteries, which isn't that bad, you know. It certainly doesn't look bad when you're holding a Game Gear in your hand. <laughs> Six AA batteries. What were they thinking? And you know, back then, what, what did the what did they think? A boombox taking six D batteries, and my I have an old school little TV that takes ten C batteries. I don't know what people thought was practical back then. I mean, they made the 32X, so everything they could think of wasn't practical. So this is the Game Boy. You got start and select right here. You have your A and B buttons and a D pad. And then games look like this, have a little chip in there. Like looks like it just got caught off cut off. It says Game Boy uh this is Game Boy actually like right there. And they just slide right in there. Reliability. Now the Game Boy is unbelievably reliable. I've heard people talk about how they've dropped these, broken these, kicked these threw them at a wall, and it still works. So if you want to get your kid a new 3DS, afraid he's going to break it, buy him a Game Boy, because chances are it's going to work when his grandkids finally, you know, get all his old stuff. It's still going to work. This thing is the most reliable thing I've ever seen. I don't know why, but it, it just won't break. It just won't. Like, it's filled with a whole bunch of cotton. Everything that hits it just softens the blow. I don't know. It, it just, it won't break. Unless you crack the screen, you know. But it just won't break. Clear the power right there. And you cannot take your games out. If you see right here. Do you see that? It locks your games in so you can't take them out. I don't know why, but... I guess they knew it would break it if you took your games out while it was playing. So, that's why they have it pushed down in the NES, so you can't take it out while it's playing. And even the SNES had something that would lock the game in. Until later they changed it, and they stopped making games with the little thing that would lock it in, so I don't know why, but Nintendo does... Sorry, I'm just laying that down right there. So Nintendo does have a history of things. Not wanting their games to come out of their systems because it will break the system. It does. Have you ever pulled a game out of a Genesis or a Game Gear? It just messes the screen up and it could damage your system. So, the Game Boy overall sold hundreds of millions of copies across the world. And was like one of the most popular systems ever. Everybody had a Game Boy. Everybody. They were cheaper than a Game Gear, cheaper than an Atari Lynx. And, uh, yeah. You know, it was it's just super cheap. But then again, everything's cheaper than a Atari Lynx. I think that was a hundred some dollars. I don't know why. But, this is the Game Boy. Very practical, works, and very reliable. And I would suggest you get one. Because there are hundreds of games. Hundreds of games. Or you could get a Game Gear. And have even more games because you get Game Gear, or no, sorry, not Game Gear, uh, Game Boy Color. You get Game Boy Color, and you can play Game Boy Color games. Out of all the Game Boys, I would say the Game Boy Color is probably the best. I like it more than the Game Boy Advance and the SP, of course. Man, that was terrible. Um, but I think out of all the Game Boy Color is probably your best decision to play your Game Boy games, so buy a Game Boy Color. And I know this wasn't a very long bit video, but there's not much to say about the Game Boy. Everybody knows what it is. Everybody's heard of it. And everybody had it as a kid. You can also, right there, uh, hook it up to another Game Boy. You got contrast. No, contrast is actually right there. That's volume. So, everybody's seen a Game Boy. 
Anyone who likes retro video games have heard, has heard, and seen a Game Boy. So thank you for watching my review of the Game Boy.